Warning, if you continue to send out those copy and paste messages asking if somebody would be interested in looking at your opportunity, you risk not only being blocked and unfollowed by that person who you sent the message to, that in fact might actually be the perfect fit for your company and your opportunity, but you just didn't give them the chance to find that out. But you risk a much bigger problem and that's that Facebook is gonna see you as being spammy and as being salesy, and they'll actually shut down your ability to send out messages. And that's in the best case scenario. In the worst case scenario, they may actually shut down your entire social media account. And then you'll no longer be able to use social media to find team members and customers and rank advance in your network marketing business. After you implement the things in this video, you will have people reaching out to you to wanna know more. If you're ready to light your business on fire and crush your competition, come join us for the Social Media Blitz, where you'll learn how to crush your competitors in the network marketing industry by mastering intentional messaging while inspiring action for maximum impact. This channel is dedicated to helping you grow your network marketing business with organic traffic like and subscribe so that you don't miss anything i was taught to make a names list and then check off the names on the list as i invited them to hotel meetings and three-way meetings all i wanted to do was get my information in front of as many people as quickly as possible well that worked okay for the first month i set up appointments with everybody that i knew on that list and i just began checking people off as quickly as possible in my attempt to find those people that would be interested in joining my network marketing company and building a business of their own. I was determined to do anything in my power to reach out to people and share my opportunity with them, not only because I knew it would benefit me, but because I really genuinely cared about them and I knew it was a great business and I believed that would help the other person as well. When I ran out of names of people in my area, I decided that it was time to increase my business and my names list by going online. And so I reached out and made friends with people back from elementary school, high school, my college day, people that I hadn't talked to in years, but that was okay. I was building my business the only way that I knew how, which was by making a list of names. I'd heard that social media was the way to go. I'd heard that it was this wonderful, magical place where you could have people just joining your business like crazy. And I was so excited, but I only knew one way to do it. And that was by getting that on the phone with them and setting them up with a three-way phone call. And so I began to send out messages to my friends and my message went something like this. Hey, I'm so excited to catch up with you. It's been such a long time. When do you have a second that we can chat? I wasn't having success, but I knew that if I just reached out to enough people that eventually someone would join my business. Anybody else ever feel that way? I was going for the no. Well, that all came to a screeching halt one day when I reached out to a friend of mine from college. We hadn't talked in years and we had a great time catching up. He was filling me in on what he was doing. I was kind of filling him in on what I was doing. And then I turned it into the sales pitch. You know, come join my opportunity. I don't know if you'd be interested in this or not. And I didn't think anything about it. I was just on autopilot. This is what I did. I was so excited to share my opportunity with him. I had my selling hat on. He didn't end up joining the company, but I didn't think anything about it because let's face it, nobody was really joining my company and i just figured at some point he'd figured out he'd reach back out to me and he'd be excited and not to worry i wasn't interested in the ones that weren't interested i was only interested in the ones that did right and so i and i didn't think i didn't think about that conversation with sam at all after i had the phone that is i didn't think about it at all until a couple months later when sam sent me a message on facebook and the message went something like this I gotta apologize, Sarah, because I've been really mad at you. And I realized that I shouldn't be mad at you. It was my fault. Yeah, now my ears are perked up as I was reading this message, right? And he ended by saying, I'm really sorry. I hope you'll forgive me. And I was really confused. And I didn't understand why he'd be mad at me. I didn't think we had a problem. Well, come to find out through a series of messages, I had really offended Sam. I'd hurt his feelings that I'd reach out to him after that long a time. And that my agenda would be that I just wanted him to come join my network marketing team. I'd made it all about me without even realizing that it was all about me. I wasn't worried about him. He was absolutely right. If I hadn't had the agenda of come join my team, 
probably wouldn't have reached out to him, even though I loved catching up to him. Well, this stopped me in my tracks, and I wondered how many other people I'd sent that message out to that weren't brave enough to tell me how offended and hurt they were by this message. I hadn't looked at the big picture. It hadn't occurred to me what my actions looked like to the person on the other side. Of course, nobody was joining my team. I looked needy. I looked desperate. And I came off as being really fake and inauthentic, although my heart was in the right place. I wanted to offer him a way out and a way of hope, just like my upline and my sponsor had given me hope when he told me about the opportunity. But from Sam's point of view, he was thinking, wow, it's been a really long time since I talked to Sarah. But now I know that she only reached out to me because there was something that she wanted. And that's when I realized that sending out messages was just as awkward for the person receiving them as it kind of was for me sending them out. I didn't want to continue hurting my friends' feelings by making that the focus of why I'd reached out to them. And I didn't want people to block me or unfollow me just because I'd sent out that weird spammy message. Because honestly, Sam could very well have been the perfect person for my team and for network marketing. But I pushed him away because of the way I messaged him, because of the way I talked to him, because of the way I turned it into a sales pitch. Instead of letting him reach out and approach me and tell me why he needed the opportunity. The way that I do it now, I get people sending me messages instead. And this changes the story because no, no, now I'm no longer selling to them and they're no longer feeling sold to, but now I'm actually a problem solver who's solving their problem. And they're reaching out to me because they know that I have the solution to their problem. And so now that message that they're sending me is a message saying, how can you help me solve my problems? And they thank me for it. Think about the last time that you went to an ice cream store. What flavor did you get? Was it on a cone or was it on a cup? Did you put toppings on it? When you walked into that store and the person asked you what flavor you wanted, did you feel sold to? Did you want to run out of the ice cream store saying, what did you want? Why are you talking to me? Do you think the person selling the ice cream to you and asking you what flavor you wanted felt awkward asking you if you wanted ice cream? No, they didn't, right? Because you walked into the store with a problem. Your problem was that you wanted ice cream. And the person behind the counter was solving your problem by asking you information to be able to know if you wanted it on a cone or cup, to know what kind of flavor you wanted, to ask you if you wanted toppings. And it wasn't awkward for either one of you, right? By offering you the ice cream, that was the solution to your need right then, which was that you wanted ice cream. If nobody knows that you're in business, then you're really not in business, right? And so I get it. Because one of the ways to let people know that you're in business is by sending out messages. The other way that you can let people know that you're in business is through your posts. As you post and you share your journey with network marketing and you share how network marketing was the answer to your problem, people are gonna connect with your story and with your journey. And then they're gonna reach out to you to find out how they can do it too. This now eliminates the need to send out messages. Have you ever wished that there was a way to look at your friends list and know exactly who the right person is that you should be talking to? Well, with your posts on social media, it's gonna do just that. It's gonna eliminate the people that are not right for your team, and it's gonna attract the people that are. For even more tips about how to use social media to grow your network marketing business, come join the Social Media Blitz. Also make sure to like and subscribe for more videos just like this.